What a shock. The Biden administration's terrible when it comes to the economy, making you poorer, making you less prosperous. You, the American people, suffering as a result of the so-called Build Back Better agenda they've got in place. Not really. No, not at all. In fact, here's what we know. The Consumer Price Index shows a 7.5% surge. Just put this into some historical context. This is the highest, fastest rate of inflation since 1982, I believe. So we're going on about 40 years, pretty much as long as I've been alive, since we have had inflation looking like this. Now, you understand, of course, that this means that the dollars in your bank account are getting eroded. They are worth less. They are slowly evaporating in value with each passing month. In fact, it's not really that slow, 7.5%. That would be considered, if you were up 7.5% in your 401k in a year, pretty solid year, right? But you're losing instead. You're losing the dollars you have in the bank every month that passes. And what does this mean also in terms of the expenses that you are incurring in your home? And remember, this was all predictable, folks. We'll get into why, but this is what was going to happen because of the out-of-control spending that Democrats thought they could get away with without the realities of the inflation that we're seeing. So consumer prices, how is that affecting folks, right? Or how are folks seeing those effects day to day? Used car prices up 40%, 40.5 actually. Gasoline up 40%. Meat, fish, eggs up 12%. Electricity up 10.7%. Uh, food at home up 7.4%. Food away from home up six. Housing up four. So everything that you need in your day-to-day -day life is getting more expensive. Now, it's not complicated to figure out why this is happening. The government is spending too much money. The government is spending your money. Inflation is caused by monetary policy. That's what's happening in this country right now, right? That's the primary driver of the inflation that we are seeing. And it's also eating up whatever wage gains you have out there. So that this is a graph that can show you exactly how this is happening. See, it's outpacing the increase in wages. So right now you are, you are even if you're making a little bit more money on paper, you are losing buying power, you are losing uh, your economic stability. It's getting worse uh, because of the inflation that we are seeing. Now, what is the Biden regime gonna do about this? This is a big problem for them politically. People see the inflation in their day-to-day -day lives. They feel it in their checkbook, at their credit card bill. When they go to buy gas or groceries, they go, hold on a second, why is this getting so expensive? And they don't like it, right? So it's not that Democrats are willing to admit that their economic ideas are essentially warmed over Marxism and that this is stupid. No, instead what they want to say is, don't worry, we've got this under control. They were saying it was transitory, it turned out not to be. So what are they saying? Oh, it's basically gonna be transitory this time around. Don't worry, it'll go away. 